Hey, Crossword fans. Today, we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, April 30th, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across. Mason jar in a pinch. So you're using a mason jar for something it wasn't intended for? I guess it could be a glass or a cup, maybe. Those don't fit, though. Hmm. Life sustaining. Huh. Sorry, this is a long one. Man, look at that. I guess you could be apologetic. Does that fit? Ooh, that's good. Okay. That'd be really helpful if that's if that's right. Look inward. Could that be introspect? Hmm. Well, it fits. I don't know if I'd like the way these letters are looking next to each other. PN and GS looks really bad. Unless this is... No. One's getting you down. And this is wordplay. Hmm. One's getting you down. Let's see if we can figure out which one of these is wrong. Or maybe both are wrong. Corporate debuts, abbreviated. That should be IPOs, right? Okay, so it looks like introspect is wrong. Okay. Let's put in IPOs. And then maybe we can get some crossing help for this other long one down. Hype. Hmm. Name invoked when reciting the Shahada. I've never heard of the Shahada before, but it's kind of looking like it's going to be Allah. Going over the head of. Hmm. Life sustaining. Vital? Ooh, yeah, that seems really good for that. Okay. Oh, it could be a vase. Yeah, okay. Hype. Hmm. Look inward. It's not like solipsized or something like that. Oh, it could be soul search, right? Yeah, that's another good answer there. Biltmore or Hearst Castle. I guess that would be an estate. Hearst, the inspiration for Citizen Kane, as we learned a couple of days ago. Going over the head of, I guess that could be lost on like, if something goes over your head, you don't understand it, right? That could kind of mean, like, it's lost on you. Yeah. Well, it's, this cannot be geese, because those would only pick you up, so... What else could this be? One's getting you down. Hmm. Farm animal in farm speak. Is it a hoss? Like a horse? Oh my god, it is geese. Oh, I hate this. You should not be getting down from geese. Yeah. The, the down belongs to the geese. Okay, element of show business. Um, hmm. Element of show business, and this is wordplay. Maybe it's neon, yeah, because like... The signs for show business are neon signs a lot of the time. Yeah, that's pretty clever. Okay. Crushes, e.g. Crush is a brand of soda, so maybe it could be sodas. Yeah, I remember in high school on Valentine's Day, you could uh, send a orange crush to your Valentine if you wanted to. It's appropriately high school. Okay, blank the bud. That should be nip in the bud. Prevent something from happening. She played Dorothy Gale in The Wiz, 1978. This is Diana Ross, I think, right? Yeah, okay, nice. Address abbreviation. That should be apartment. R&B jazz artist Booze, who sang CC Rider Blues. Uh, this name does not ring any bells for me. Response of modesty. Hmm. TR? 
I try, maybe. Yes. It's a modest response to a compliment. What babies and marathoners both use. That's definitely bibs. Babies' bibs don't usually have numbers on them. Something built with curls informally. That should be bicep. Right? Yeah, I think that's right. Bike brand is Schwinn. So what is this? Ornamental trees. Yeah, you is a kind of a tree. Use, okay. Electricity shooting Pokemon. That is definitely Pikachu. I'm sure everyone under 40 doing the puzzle got that one. Okay, cheer made with beer. That could be Skull. It's like a Scandinavian cheers. Bitter. That could be Acrid, I think. Yeah, I think acrid is usually... I feel like I hear it used with like a smell, like acrid smoke or an acrid smell. Beats me, an equivalent phrase. That could be no clue. Buzzfeed fodder. Um, I don't know, is it libel? <laughs> that can't be right. Um, hmm. I guess it's lists, right? Because they make listicles. It should be. It's kind of their bread and butter, right? Drop it editorially. Hmm. This is like editor language. It's not stet, because stet is to put something back in. Hmm. We'll get some long ones down here. Sign before merging. Hmm. Like on the highway, maybe? Lane closed? Yeah, there we go. So it is about merging on the highway. Okay. Secondary gig? Yeah, it's definitely side hustle. Who's got an idea? Another equivalent phrase. Maybe it's any guesses? Something a teacher would say, maybe? Del for delete, I guess. Interesting, okay. Start of some French surnames. Day. Hmm. Yeah, that seems pretty plausible there. Jewelry designer Peretti. Ooh. I don't know. Is it Elsa? It may come in buckets. It's definitely rain. Blank Dwyer. Roll for Chris Pratt on Parks and Recreation. Yeah, that's Andy. That lovable goofball. Okay, so this should be Internet Era. And it is Elsa, Elsa Peretti. I don't think I've heard of her. They took an opportunity to not refer to Princess Elsa. I guess that's appreciated. Top flight destination. Hmm. I don't know what they're asking here. I'm not sure exactly what top flight is supposed to mean. Hmm. Part of an OSHA inspection. OSHA is like workplace safety organization. Hmm. There's not much. Um, it's almost like this grid is like split into two. There's very little like flow through in these sections. There's just a little tiny bit here and here. Yeah, so hopefully we can get something going here. The time is blank. That should be the time is near, I think. Hmm. Receive. Hmm. Is that like receiving people into your house? Appropriate name for that woman's husband. And this is wordplay. Appropriate name? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's going to be a homophone here. It seems like it should be appropriate. And maybe it's like... That woman, hmm. Her, is it gonna have her in there somewhere? Huh, interesting. One of the official languages of Canada's Northwest Territories. Hmm, oh man, it looks like we're gonna have to start fresh. 
yeah, I guess we kind of just like did this whole section. Maybe we'll just have to do that on this uh, northeastern section also. Corporate alias abbreviation. I don't think it's AKA. I wonder if it's DBA doing business as. That might be what it is actually. I've, I've heard that phrase before. I don't know if I've ever seen this abbreviation, but brogues. That's kind of that's kind of an accent, like a Scottish brogue. Dialects. Yeah, that's too short. Hmm. It often includes Fox, but not Fox News. Huh. I think Disney bought Fox, didn't they? But not Fox News. I don't know if that's what they're talking about. One who might reply to thank you with no wuckus? Huh. What does that mean? One of the Castros? Uh, I think they're talking about the Cuban Castros, maybe. It's not Fidel, but his brother is Raul. So that could be. Those letters look good. Davis of Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries. I don't know if I've heard of this, but it could be Viola Davis, maybe, but then DRV looks really bad. Hmm. Austrian? No, Australian? Could be Australian. Let's put that in and see if that helps. <laughs> I've never seen I've never seen no wuckus before. Open the pod bay doors blank. Classic movie line. Yeah, that's Hal. Open the pod bay doors Hal, the malevolent robot in 2001, The Space Odyssey. Award typically presented in Manhattan's Webster Hall. Hmm. I don't know. The only award that I can think that would fit here would be an OB, the Off-Broadway Award. Zip. Could that be like nada? Hmm. Bad button to hit by accident. Eject. Send. Yeah, like on an email. Yeah, I've done that before. Makes me wish there was a recall button for emails. Redundant word before results. Maybe end result. That is kind of a redundant phrase, isn't it? Uh, zip. Hmm. A, B, L, E, maybe? Hmm. Brogues. Wow. Interesting. That just doesn't look like anything to me. Uses a crystal ball. Scries. Ooh, I love this word. Um, I think it's I-E-S or is it Y? I think it's got a Y in it. Yeah, that looks better to me. Yeah, you're like seeing the future if you're scrying. Like books for Project Gutenberg. Those are all scanned in. Because that's like the free ebook resource. Yeah, if you have like a a Kindle or some kind of e-reader. Project Gutenberg is like a gold mine. There's all kinds of like classic literature on there that you can read for free. Okay, so um, certain peaceful protest. That should be something in, I think, like a sit-in or a die-in. Um, so maybe it is IES. I'm not sure. Could it be lie-in? Like, John and Yoko, I think, did a lion, didn't they? Dot on a timeline. That could be an event. Um... Hmm. Jeez, this also just doesn't look like anything to me. Oh, is it basic cable? Oh, okay. All right, that makes sense. And then, ooh, I 
feel like I might have something wrong here. Brogues. Jeez, this looks like such a mess up here. Is this Elon? Zip? Elon. Yeah, doesn't Elon mean like skillfully? Zip. I don't know. That This almost looks like it's going to be dress shoes, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess maybe brogues are kind of dress shoe. Elan, I guess... Hmm, I'm not sure exactly how Elan means zip. I wonder if the goose can help enlighten us here. Okay, and then Essie... E. Essie Davis, I've definitely never heard of. Hmm. I'm pretty happy with all these downs, though. Shoot, what is this? Site visit. Oh, man. Okay. That's just really hard to see there. Hmm. Is it, this should be attic, shouldn't it? Top flight of a house. Yeah. Let's put an attic. And then this is not near. The time is nigh. Oh, man. That was throwing us off. It was blocking progress here. Receive. Hmm. This could be Crow. That is a tribe of Native Americans. So that could be. These letters look good. Receive could be Greet. Yeah, like how we were thinking it might be like welcoming someone into your house. Appropriate name for that woman's husband. Howard? That doesn't seem like a pun to me. Muse of lyric poetry. Uh, I really don't know the muses at all. Off the mark could be errant, maybe? Horace? Why would it be Horus? Hmm. Related. Akin? Something's akin to something else that's sort of related. Captain who says, I am not what you call a civilized man. Um, maybe it's Captain Nemo from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Seems, seems right for him. Chile's Nevado Blank Crucis National Park. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of this. Double negatives. Wordplay. Double negatives are just like, I'm not unhappy. Um, but it's not going to be that. It's got to be something else. Like maybe double photo negatives somehow? Hmm. Shoot, that kind of blocked progress here, didn't it? Normal length of a pregnancy should be a term, like brought a baby to term. Ah, yes, that could be I see now for an equivalent phrase there. Experimental delivery option, yes, yeah, a drone. We're going to be seeing Amazon drones in the sky pretty soon. Comportment, yeah, I think that's mean. Yeah, that's like your behavior. Yeah, like the impression that you give off. Okay, New Year's Eve handout is a noisemaker. Nice, okay, that's good. Cry to an unruly crowd near an entrance. That should be uh, one at a time. Yeah, okay. I, all these downs are really good. Apologetic, soul search, noisemaker, one at a time. Those are all nice long answers. Gone unused, okay. Sat, took a turn, went. Yeah, like in a board game, I guess. Horman? No, that should be Herman, right? So it's not Crow, it's Cree, I think. Okay. Yeah, that's another tribe. Okay. Herman. Okay, there we go. That's a good pun. And then... Hmm, yeah, I still don't know that one. Double negatives. I guess it's just no-nos, because it says no twice. Yeah, okay. And then this was Nemo, and then this is... Trace, Novato Trace, 
I guess this is three crosses or something. Okay. Yeah, let's see if that does it for us. Nice, wow. A Friday puzzle in just over 20 minutes. That's really fast. We just blazed through that one. I mean, compare that to yesterday's that took almost 30 minutes. This one, I just felt like I was on the same page on pretty much every clue. And that just made it so much easier, except we had a little bit of trouble up here, but I've never heard of brogue as a, a shoe. I've always heard it as like a Scottish brogue. So that took a really long time to see, um, but it's a great, it's a great piece of fill. I thought the three S's in a row here are pretty cool. And then two C's for basic cable. Yeah, all these, uh, all these long stacks are nice. Dress shoes, basic cable, Australian. And this one at the bottom is great too. Yeah. And these long downs are great. Yeah, this was a very fun Friday. Probably a little on the easy side. Um, but there was a little bit of good wordplay in here. Top flight destination, attic, very nice. Crushes for sodas, yeah. There was some good kind of tricky cluing coming in here. Um, and not too many proper nouns either. Just a handful. Yeah. Wish they'd clued this one a little differently. But yeah, overall, I like this one a lot. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that nice smooth Friday puzzle with me. It's a good way to start heading into the weekend because I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow with the hardest puzzle of the week this Saturday. Possibly, I don't know. It might not be as hard as that Thursday. That was a really hard puzzle. <laughs> All right, but I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.